Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Wartesters.com and today we have a quick look at the recently released Nike Hyper Chase. This is the All-Star Edition colorway. It's going to be James Harden's unofficial signature sneaker. It is a team model, but it's got his branding on it. So he'll be the primary wear of this shoe, but we might see other NBA athletes wear these as well. And in case you did not know, um, if you go over to my site, Wartesters.com, you'll be able to see uh, Clay Thompson's new signature sneaker. He actually just signed with Anta. I'm not going to go over that though because I don't have a shoe in hand, um, but we are going to go over these. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys. So here they are. Uh, this particular colorway retails for 120. It is the all-star version. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive than the regular pairs. The only other pairs that are available right now are the Fragment pairs. And I believe those are only in like NYC. And then they were online, but I believe they sold out already. Uh, those ones were 140. And I don't, actually don't know what these are gonna retail for. I'm hoping they're about $100 because the tech that's used isn't like worth even a hundred in my opinion, but the shoe does look cool. So speaking of the tech, uh, this is the main piece right here. Um, it is a hollowed out shell of a shoe. And this is not just the insole, but it's also the midsole. It's a drop-in midsole. And we have seen these before. They've been using them since uh, the, uh, what is it? The Kobe eights, sevens technically, but um, this is the similar style and shape to the eight and the nine. The LeBron 11 is a little bit thicker than this guy here. So if you wanted to customize them, you definitely could take, like this is the Kobe nines. Um, and so this is from my Nike ID pair, but you can take them and swap them out for this pair. The reason why I mention that is because this is actually Lunar Lawn. It's actually real cushion. And then this is just polyurethane. It's a really thick piece of polyurethane. And if you're unfamiliar with polyurethane, basically that's what the Air Jordan 3 and 4 midsoles were made out of, most of the earlier Air Jordans. Um, this is not quite as dense as that stuff. This is a much softer, almost phylon-like uh, type of foam. So while they are comfortable, uh, it's a little bit more heavy. This insert right here weighs three ounces, whereas this one weighs like 1.2. And basically all of that stuff is inside of this shoe. Again, it's all hollowed out. This is phylon. This, uh, it's kind of a midsole, but it's not really. This kind of reminds me of the KD, uh, KD5s a little bit. Um, but this is the carrier. And then you have that that drops into the actual shoe and it just fits right inside there. Here's a quick look at the outsole. I don't know what to think about this stuff. When I try them on, on a clean floor, they grip like crazy. So we could have another situation where the traction looks iffy, but ends up performing outstanding, uh, depending on the core conditions. So I'm not gonna really, you know, say much of anything else other than this shit looks weird, but it could play really, really nicely. So here's that Phylon midsole kind of carrier. And then you got the same mesh material used here that you have in the Hyper Rev. 2015 dynamic flywire up in the front and then you have this asymmetrical lacing system which is freaking awesome um, i actually really like this type of lacing it works really well to contain the foot and uh, this reminds me a lot of the old school uh, rodman sneakers from nike the air shake and destruct those ones were way way on the side but these ones are, are you know curved like this it almost has like that jordan future look to it actually if you look at it because the future moves in this way as well. And then these areas right here, they're targeted for four foot strikers. Um, and not just a striker as far as like, that's how you run or that's your gait. Um, four foot strikers as in, that's where you play primarily. The shoe is made for Harden who primarily plays on his toes. So you'll see when you are on your toe of the shoe, the swoosh is actually leveled out. But when you're flat, the swoosh is kind of facing down. So this is the way that he plays and this is the way that you'll see the shoe maybe on TV or in a picture. So if you slash, if you cut, if you Euro step, if you drive, things like that, this area is gonna contain your foot really, really nicely. At least that's the theory. There is his logo. This logo is really soft. It's like kind of rubbery. Um, and then you got this really cool, like a, I don't know, like hippie or design, tie dye design on the, the tongue and the lining. Really nice. They fit true to size as well. So whatever it, your regular sizes go with that. Um, then you have these like kind of holographic swoosh logos. You can kind of see back here too where all the ventilation is. So this is ventilation, then there's fuse under it, the structure, same thing right here. And then all of this is gonna be breathable as well um, with that internal tongue, which is also a 3 4 booty setup. All right guys, just one more quick look. These things are awesome looking. Um, they feel 